Hi, my name is Jean and this is my channel, Learn With Jean. In today's video, I'm going to talk all about diversifying your creator business revenue model. So what do I mean by diversifying your creator business revenue model? I know that's a lot of words, but what I'm really trying to say is how do you ensure that your creator business is well diversified so that not all of your income comes solely from one type of source? A lot of times, creator in a, a lot of times in a creator business we focus on either selling memberships or we selling focus on selling courses and i think it's important in this kind of economy and always to keep this in the back of your mind is to have different streams of revenue you never want to be dependent on let's say for example a membership only model unless your membership is enough to sustain the amount of content the amount of time and the amount of work that goes into generating that revenue if you're selling like, you know, $50 memberships each month, uh, as in, if you, so if you're only selling $50 memberships, that is great. However, you might want to think twice about just selling $50 memberships and going towards different kinds of levels. Now, if you want to look at like Netflix and Hulu, they have different tiers. So they have like, you know, people who don't want to pay for ads, people who are okay with paying ads because they want to pay less. And so there's all these different levels that they have that you can opt into. And the same goes for your business. Maybe you have a um, basic tier where you just access all the content whenever, wherever. Uh, there's also a silver tier that you may consider, which is more premium access, maybe. Uh, you can have all the courses plus special workbooks. And then maybe you have a gold tier where you get access to a live call once a month. So there's all these different ways that you can consider that in your business because ultimately it's important not to rely on one type of revenue source. And one of the challenges of a creator business is with memberships, people are always changing their mind and sometimes they're subscribing one month and then the next month they're not subscribing because they have too much content. And so you want to think about creating the kind of experiences that keep people hooked in. I know there's a lot of different ways that Thinkific Power Ups from Rob Galvin help do that. But the tools aside, you want to think about what kind of keeps them engaged. What is it that they want to know more about? And that's what really keeps people engaged in a membership tier. If you look at Netflix and other streaming platforms, what they do really well is get you continued to watching. Uh, they always have content served up uh, video after video, and they also have recommendations so that when you finish one series, they have another series lined up for you. So that's something that you can apply to your business model as well if you're selling memberships is that once you get people to consume a video, how do you get them to consume more? How do you get them to engage in your online community? And then my other suggestion is to offer more experiences. Digital products and digital courses are very popular and very accessible, but people are really looking for experiences and connection these days more and more. So how can you sell a virtual experience, like a virtual retreat, or maybe you're an artist or a musician or a yoga teacher, and you can supplement with a annual retreat. I think those kinds of high ticket experiences once a year really elevate your business and help grow your bottom line. So if you have not already considered it, whether you're selling a membership or you're selling courses, always diversify and have different buckets of revenue streams so that you're not just selling memberships, but you can sell courses, you can also sell workbooks, and maybe you can even offer affiliate income. So that may be like Amazon affiliates, so that recommendations for products and tools or cookware, all that can also increase your creator business bottom line. Ultimately, the goal of this video is to encourage you to consider and explore different revenue streams beyond just selling digital products. So looking at experiences, looking at other affiliate programs, whether it be from Amazon or other software, or even other experiences, teaming up and partnering with, with other creators and offering a discount to their membership or offering a discount to their courses could help you uh, generate more referrals and also more passive income for your business. The most important thing is not to depend on one source 
So ultimately, it is important not to depend on one sole source of revenue in your business, but to have multiple pockets and multiple streams so that you're not always trying to engage people to buy, that you can have other income that comes in so that when people are really kind of fatigued and burnt out from consuming content, you have other streams of income that are coming in. So uh, if you have not considered that, please do so. Um, my goal of this video is to encourage more people to expand how they build their business, how they generate revenue in their business, because one of the examples that I like to give is in my business, if I solely relied on providing a service and doing consultations, it wouldn't be as helpful. But for me, I have other forms of income with affiliates that if you like to support, I have a Thinkific affiliate link at the description below, as well as a Descript affiliate link as well below. So if you'd like to support my channel, please do so with those affiliate links. And thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon.